get those goosebumps every time I need the high leg, throw that to the side Hey, what's up everyone? This is Blue Nova of Dream Cloud Digital and today I'm going to be showing you all how to get the same vocal quality from Travis Scott's Goosebump. The first thing I want to show you all is that there's not anything on the master. So, um, except for the fruity limiter, I'll go ahead and take that off. And we're going to add the fruity limiter. What I do, I take the release down to zero. So the first thing, notice in the beat, um, I had Maximus in here, but I'll turn this off too for later. So the first thing we're going to do is have auto-tune on the vocal. I'm going to turn off all of the effects on the chain. And I want to play you all the vocal raw just to, just for you to know how it sounds like. I get the right. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. I need the Heimlich, throw that to the side. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. When you're not around, when you throw that to the side. All right, so now that you hear that, I'm gonna open up Auto Tune. So for Auto Tune, the input type was soprano voice. The key had it on A. Scale was on minor. Um, I noticed that Travis Scott used a lot of Auto Tune in this song, so I turned the retune speed all the way to zero. You want to go ahead and copy these settings if you have auto tune. Um, keep, you know, make sure to uh, have these settings, these exact numbers in. Scale detune, humanized, natural, vibrato, all of these. Just make sure to copy all these numbers and settings just in case yours are different. The next thing I had was the fruity limiter. And the fruity limiter, what I did. Um, Basically, I brought the release down to zero. I put the release down to zero on everything I do. Just so I can really just keep the natural sound. So playing it. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. I need the Heimlich, throw that to the side. And what I did, I brought the ceiling down all the way until like the peak of the vocal. Uh, just to take out some of the, I guess, the harsh, the harsh vocals. Um, the I guess the harsh presence inside the vocal just to make sure that it's uh, pretty much leveled before I really get into the EQ and the compressor. So just to play it again. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. I need the Heimlich, throw that to the side. So the next thing I have is a fruity parametric EQ. Um, pretty much I have the settings like this. I'm gonna provide this whole FLP uh, in the description so you all can download it because I know looking at these these aren't exact numbers that you all can copy so um, brought the low all the way down uh, the upper low I brought it down a little bit uh, raised up the high quite a bit I know it's kind of hard just to see and go just go off the parametric EQ but again I have this provided in the description to download fruity compressor uh, before before I go to the compressor, I'm gonna go ahead and play the quality with the EQ. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. I need the Heimlich, throw that to the side. Next thing is fruity compressor. About the threshold to negative 13.1, ratio 6.61, gain 5.6, attack 2.5, release 200, and type I put it on hard. Yes, how it sounds like. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. I need the Heimlich, throw that to the side. So it's starting to sound pretty good right now. Um, I added another EQ. Uh, it's the EQ UO in FL Studio. Um, this looks pretty weird. I really adjusted it to how I wanted it to sound to really just really brighten up some of the upper high, high frequency in the vocal. And I brought up a little bit of the mid. So this is how it sounds like with it. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. I need the Heimlich, throw that to the side. And I know what you're thinking, it sounds pretty harsh, um, especially some of the high frequency with the S's. So what we're gonna do is add a de -esser. Now, this de is in the Waves, um, waves bundle. Uh, the exact settings I use, put the audio on split, frequency 8,773, sidechain, put it on high pass, monitor audio and the threshold brought it down to negative 35 
And just to show you how it sounds like. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. I need the Heimlich, throw that to the side, yeah. So the next thing I have is the footy delay too. Brought the volume down to about right here. I usually keep the volume to about this area. Um, pretty much all my songs. Feedback normal. The volume kept it right down the middle. Uh, high cut. I bring my high cuts down to about right here. Uh, the time brought it down to straight down the middle. Uh, this can be different depending if the song is time matching to FL Studio. If it's just dragging in straight to MP3. Um, this is probably going to be like a short second delay, depending on what kind of beat or how late the beat starts. So this can be different depending on what you have. Um, OFS, o OFS, straight down the middle, and dry volume, put it right here. Next thing, before I'm just going to play you all the quality with the delay. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. I need the Heimlich, throw that to the side, yeah. Next thing we have is Fruity Reverb 2. Um, there's pretty much a lot of reverb. I know this Travis Scott uses a lot of reverb in his songs too. So uh, I brought, you can pretty much copy these settings and adjust these knobs. But the decay brought it down to 4.2 seconds. And you can see that right here. Um, the high cut brought it to 0 0.9 kilohertz. Size of the room brought it all the way. The crossover 471 hertz, the dampness 4.5 kilohertz. Brought the low cut to 632 hertz, and diffusion brought it all the way up. I put the dryness on 100, the early ref reflection level, put that on 50, and the wetness is 50. And I'm about to play you all the quality so far. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. I need the Heimlich, throw that to the side, yeah. So then the last thing on the vocal chain is a fruity limiter. I do this just to make sure the vocal is really pretty much all level together and there's not any peaks in the vocal. Like I said, bring the release down all the way to zero. And I brought the gain up and I brought the ceiling down. I made sure the vocal sits at six decibels. You can see on the metering, so I'm about to play it. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. I need the Heimlich, throw that to the side, yeah. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. When you're not around, when you throw that to the side, yeah. So it sounded pretty good right now. Um, next thing we're going to do is go to the beat and play it without any effects or any mastering on it. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. I need the Heimlich, throw that to the side. So as you can all hear, the beat is pretty loud. What we're going to do is go on Maximus and adjust the leveling. And also, um, shout out to Beatville. Beatville is the one who provided the instrumental. So go on the channel if you need the instrumental. Just download it straight from there. So what I did is I normally noticed that I usually prefer my hi-hats to be at negative 12 decibels. Uh, the snares will be, you can see it peak at 6 decibels. And, you know, if you have this level set in the high frequency, most of the time your vocals will sit at about uh, six decibels with the limiter and even, most likely six decibels. If not, then it'll probably be uh, negative nine decibels. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. I need the Heimlich, throw that to the side, yeah. Now what I did, I compressed the high frequency. Like I said, I want the snare to hit at negative six decibels. So... Initially, in Maximus, it should probably come up as this. And you're gonna, what you're going to do is left click and drag it down. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. And you want to make sure you want to make sure you see this little line that's dipping down. This is the compression on that uh, certain frequency. So we're going to bring it down to it's hitting at negative six. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. I need the Heimlich, throw that to the side, yeah. That sounds pretty good. Uh, with the mid frequency, I pretty much I put some saturation on it. Let's go ahead and reset this. Um, I put the saturation over to the left, but let's play it by itself. I get, let's solo it actually. I get those goosebumps every time. Yeah. 
I need the high leg, throw that to the side. So the snare was pretty loud when I heard it. That's the reason why I put the saturation. It'll pretty much kind of act like a limiter. Um, and just cut off that high, the high peaking, you know, just stop it at zero. So let's play it. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. I need the high leg, throw that to the side. So this sounds pretty good. We're gonna go to the low. Um what I did, the bass is pretty loud in this song. We're gonna go ahead and reset it. Um, I usually it's best to keep your bass at negative six decibels, just in case you play it in a loud venue or in your car. You don't want the bass to uh to be too overbearing on your vocals. So negative six is safe, but for this song, I think I kept it at negative three decibels. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. I need the high leg, throw that to the side. So there's like really a lot of bass in this. So what I did, I brought the um, the pregain and I brought it down to about negative one decibel. So we're gonna go ahead and play it. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. I need the high leg, throw that to the side. Like I said, for every vocal, for every song and every vocal, the bass leveling might be different, but always it should most likely probably be a negative six just to be safe and if anything to negative three but do not let the bass right here do not let it hit a zero there's too much bass so we're gonna go ahead and play it with the solo off and the mastering there's nothing on uh for the limiter i get those goosebumps every time yeah. i need the high leg throw that to the side i get those goosebumps every time yeah when you're not around when you so the mix is sounding pretty the mix is sounding pretty good right now. The last thing, like I said, had the fruity limiter on it, have the release down to zero. We're gonna go ahead and play it. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. I need the high leg, throw that to the side. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. When you're not around, when you throw that to the side. I get those goosebumps. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. I need the high leg, throw that to the side. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. I need the high leg, throw that to the side. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. When you're not around, when you throw that to the side. So pretty much the mix of it sounds the mix of it sounds pretty good. I think I'm gonna leave it as this. Um I guess it pretty much wraps up this tutorial. I'm going to try to be as consistent as possible and provide you all with more uh, vocal quality mixing for the songs that you all request. So go ahead and just comment, uh, drop, drop the name of the song that you all want next in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, subscribe to Blue Nova Beats. And if you have any questions, email me at bluenovabeats at gmail.com. Uh, for my website, bluenovabeats.com, you can purchase beats and mixing. All right, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all later on the next one. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. I need the high leg, throw that to the side.